Alex Carr, Palantir's founder, said recently in an interview that he sees no reason they can't be 20x from where it is right now, which will make Palantir a $500 stock in future. In this video, I'm going to share that interview clip, why he thinks that they can 20x from where they are, how their software is going to help them achieve it, what about the competition, my perspective about it, and how you can benefit from all this. Hi, my name is Sunny, and I make videos that affect a common man financially. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe to it alongside smashing that like button as that will help me with the YouTube algorithm and it will be highly appreciated. Recently, I saw this video where Alex Carr, Palantir's founder, was sharing his thoughts in an interview, which I must say was an eye-opener for most of the investors. In this very short interview, he was saying how he sees no reason Palantir can't 20x from here, of course not in a very short term, which will make it a $1 trillion company with $500 stock price. I must say when we hear founders speak about their companies, we should avoid taking their comments out of context because they have put their heart and soul into that company, thus at times they speak very passionately. We all remember Tesla's early days when Elon used to speak passionately about it. People used to think that he's giving a guidance about the stock. He even got into a little problem with the SEC too. Similarly, I don't think Alex's comments have got anything to do with the stock price right now. I have listened to his interview quite a few times. I don't get the impression that he thinks the stock is going to go 20x at the end of the year or the next year or in five years. They are in the business of data analytics where the data belongs to their clients. All they do is to bring their analytics software and try to solve the mystery about what that data is leading up to. In today's modern world, we leave all our data footprint everywhere, whether we are buying or selling, surfing the internet, use our connected device, etc. to just name a few. Just think about how Amazon or Tesla or Google for that matter are market leaders because they have got access to data which they have accumulated over a period of time. Even some experts are saying what oil was to last century, data is to this new 21st century. Therefore, it is safe to say it is the new oil. Now, if you have got cutting edge software capabilities to analyze it, definitely you are miles ahead of your competition. I must say that Palantir is not a new kid on the block as they have been around for a while now. Founded in 2003 with its listing on 2020 on the New York Stock Exchange have brought in a sort of limelight. If you look around, there is no company in this field which has got the breadth of experience or the capabilities of its software. They have been serving the US government their intelligence agencies and the Department of Defense for a while now, which I think is a sort of seal of approval for the quality of the work their software is able to achieve. They recently have ventured into commercial enterprise business also. Such analytical capabilities cannot be developed overnight. Therefore, if anybody wants to start it now, it's going to be a tall order before they can even think about achieving what Palantir has been doing for a while now. It's the same case if somebody wants to start up an electric vehicle company and they want to compete against Tesla. Think about it, how difficult it's going to be against the well entrenched innovator in the terms of technology employed. Hope you get the idea. In my humble opinion, I think Palantir is at the start of this exponential S curve for its growth. That does not mean they are going to explode next year. Don't get me wrong. If you see their track record, they are able to grow at a very rapid pace in the past. Even the forward-looking statements say that until 2025, the top line will be expanding at least by 30% per year. In software business, most of the expense is when you develop it, which is a long, tedious grind. Once you are beyond the development phase, customization based on clients and their needs are not that very expensive. During that time, you make the big bucks and now it becomes a high margin software business. See Microsoft as an example. Palantir has a business model where they are able to have predictable recurring income from their customers 
for years. That's why I think Alex Karp said there is no way he thinks Palantir can't be 20x in the future and in my opinion that time frame is 5 to 10 years. I'm a long term shareholder and I don't intend to sell whether it goes up or down in the near future. But that is me, I might be wrong. Do your own due diligence before investing based on your risk tolerance. As a disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. Please consult one before investing based on your personal financial situation. This is my take on the topic, Palantir $500 stock. If you like the content that I make, please help me and my channel by liking, sharing and subscribing to it. Thanks for watching. See you next time on the next video on your own channel, Sunny Snippets.